Welcome to Land a House. I'm Seth. I'm currently in Western North Carolina working with a micro hydro system. I'm not exactly sure what the head pressure or flow rate is of this system, but we're trying to figure out how to make power off of the water here. So let me show you around real quick. Inside of this box is the PMA or permanent magnet alternator. So a two inch pin stock comes down the hill and goes into this box right here, which then breaks up into four different nozzles to go around the PMA. So as you can see, there is one main nozzle coming in here and it splits off into four different directions and goes into the system. Now the charge controller inside of the house is having this thing kind of spin up and slow back down trying to find the best position for the uh, power coming in. The pin stock is 900 feet of two inch poly pipe going up the creek. This should be able to handle about 33 gallons per minute, but I'm thinking that the flow rate here in the creek is only about 15. And so the head pressure or drop from the source down here, the homeowner thought it was somewhere around 150 feet. They don't have a pressure gauge on the system to determine that, but I'm thinking it's more like maybe 80 or 90 feet instead of the 150 they were initially thinking about. I'll also show you the intake up top and the electronics inside. This system is using an EG4 inverter and charge controller combo. The input voltage on this unit is 120 volts up to 450, and it will output 6,000 watts AC. The batteries that are used are the Battleborn 12 volt uh, lithium iron phosphate. This makes a 48 volt and 200 amp hour battery bank. There's also some breakers in here to shut off components as needed. They're also going to be installing solar, and that's why there is this blue charge controller that can only handle up to 250 volts coming in. So this system will be a hybrid solar and hydro whenever everything is finished. The water is flowing in the creek out of this culvert pipe, and they've got this little diverter which pushes the water down into the Kiwanda screen. And this will slough off debris that may get onto this intake from the creek. From here, the water goes down this three or four inch pipe and goes down to a silt filter and air filter 55 gallon drum. This will separate a little bit of silt towards the bottom, but also allows the air and overflow to come back up the top. I believe we can turn on one more nozzle since we have this much overflow here at the 55 gallon barrel. From here, the water is gonna go down the two-inch pin stock down to the PMA. If you're looking to install micro hydro, you first need to do your research. There's two values you need. The first one is the gallons per minute flow rate of your creek. The next one is the input head pressure to the system. That is the drop in feet from the source down to wherever you have your permanent magnet alternator. You can get that head pressure by taking a garden hose, fill it with water, put a pressure gauge at the lower end, and whenever you read that pressure gauge, it will show you how much pressure has built up from the top portion to the bottom portion. I did this with a 100 foot long garden hose, and then I took all of those values, so I would measure the first 100 feet, and then I would bring the top of the hose down to where I was measuring at, drag that hose further down, and uh, I added all those head pressures together to know what my total drop was for the full system. And then you can take a five gallon bucket and place that under a waterfall in your creek to see how much time it takes to fill that bucket. So the math behind the five gallon bucket is whatever seconds it takes to fill that bucket, you divide 300 by that amount of time and it will give you the gallons per minute. So your power calculation is very simple. It is gallons per minute 
times the head pressure divided by 10 equals power. So you can either have a high flow rate and a low head pressure or a high head pressure and a low flow rate or both of them being high is even better. So in this install, it would have been nice if they had actually taken the time to gain the head pressure to before they installed their system and they would know that they didn't have quite enough to make a lot of power. Now you can also use Google Earth to find that drop between the uh, top and the bottom. Just subtract your bottom number from the top and you'll have your head pressure. This hydro system is a work in progress, so this is not a complete uh, how-to video, of course. Just wanted to show you the work that's being done here. We had to swap out the PMA because the voltage was actually too low for our charge controller. And so now it's running at a nice good uh, 200 volts, which is a good voltage for us to have coming in. Like I said, this is also gonna be a hybrid solar system. And so as it stands right now, we've seen almost 70 watts coming in. And hopefully whenever we figure out the small leak at the intake, we'll have a little bit more than that coming in as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I will see you in the next video.